Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to show you another October 2018 release feature of Dynax365 Portals. So what I'm going to be taking you through is how you can embed a Power BI report or a Power BI dashboard into Dynamics 365 for portals. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so in terms of the steps on how you can set up Power BI visualizations for your Dynamics portals, head over to the docs.microsoft.com site and you'll see the instructions in here. So what you need to do is head over to portal details and in here you will see an option called setup power bi integration select this and you will see an option called enable power bi visualization once you click on this you will get a new window that will appear click on enable a confirmation window will be displayed and then you'll be redirected back in here and it will now read as disable power bi visualization so in terms of the types of Power BI visualizations that you can surface onto Dynamics 365 for portals is you can either display a Power BI report or a Power BI dashboard. And within the Power BI dashboard, if you wanted to, you can also present uh, simply a dashboard tile rather than a whole dashboard. Okay, so in terms of what is used to surface the Power BI visualization, whether it's the Power BI report or the dashboard, you need to use liquid tags. And within the liquid tags for Power BI, there's a couple of parameters that you need to use. So there's path. So this is the URL of the report or the dashboard. And then there's an authentication type. So there, there are two. So the first one is there's one called anonymous. So anonymous in terms of when you've made your report available to the web. Then there's AAD, which is Azure Active Directory which means only Azure Active Directory authenticated users who have access to that Power BI report or dashboard can view the Power BI visualization in Dynamics 365 for portals when they are assigned in. So that is what I will take you through now. So in terms of how to do this, um, what you need to do is head into Dynamics 365 portals and open up your web page record. So the record that I've created is one called report. And within the web page, there will be a section called localized content. And within here, you open up the record. And as we scroll down, there will be an area where we can insert our um, liquid tag. So I'm going to switch over to HTML. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to show you is the authentication type of anonymous where the report has been published to the web. So you want to head over into Power BI and I'm going to select report and I'm going to open up this report and within the report there's an option up here called file and the option that you want to select is publish to web. A new window will appear and then you can select the URL. So just to show you that this is in fact um, accessible through the web, I will copy and paste that link into another browser where I'm not signed into Power BI. And we'll see that this has now loaded. So this is a report that has been made available for public users if they know the URL. Okay, so then the next thing that you want to do is uh, insert your liquid tag. So for the authentication type of anonymous, basically you enter in Power BI, you enter in your parameter of anonymous in terms of authentication type, the other parameter you enter is path, and this is where you would copy and paste your public facing Power BI report. So I'm going to copy and paste my liquid tag and dump it into the web page record of Dynamics 365 for portals. So I'm going to save this and um, let's see if it, it 
has surfaced, I might need to log in and clear the portal cache for it to show. Uh, looks like it has loaded, which is great. So we can see that the Power BI report is now displaying. And as I select um, the different pages of the report, it will also display the charts in there as well. Now, what I do particularly like about the Power BI report and displaying it in a web page in Dynamics 365 for portals is that the users can still interact with the report. So, in other words, if they were to select, um, you know, a certain um, item in here, the rest of the Power BI report would respond. And then, if you select on focus mode, it will then simply show the graph enlarged. And I quite like this because I initially thought that it would just be static, but with the Power BI report, you're still allowing the functionality of your users to interact with the report if they wanted to. Okay, so the next thing that I will show you is a Power BI dashboard where it will require uh, authentication through Azure Active Directory in terms of the signed in portal user. So we pretty much follow the same steps where in Power BI, we grab the dashboard URL. So this time I'm using this one and you copy and paste this. And in terms of the liquid tag, the only difference is the authentication type changes from anonymous to AAD and you copy and paste the URL in here. So I'm gonna copy um, my liquid tag and go back into my Dynamics 365 instance and paste that tag in here. Click save and I might need to sign back in. Yep, so I need to clear the cache. Let's just do another refresh. I'll just give it a few more seconds for it to kick in. Okay, no. All right, let's sign in. Okay, so I'm going to sign in and I'm going to select Azure AD. And let's hover, head over to report. Cool. So now it has loaded that Power BI dashboard in terms of making sure that it is only visible to, to, to <laughs> sorry, that it is only available to users who are authenticated through the Azure Active Directory as part of their sign-in. So if I were to access that same report, so let me just copy this again and we'll go ahead into our other browser window. And if I try to access it, it will try ask me to sign in because it knows that this is a Power BI dashboard that is only going to be visible to authenticated users and users who have access to that Power BI dashboard. So if you are using a Power BI dashboard and it is only going to be accessible by authenticated users, you need to make sure that you share that Power BI dashboard with those users. And yeah, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you found it interesting. I really enjoy having a look and play with this new feature. So while I'm here, I just really want to say thank you to Delete and the rest of the Portals product team for inviting me to play with this in advance and as well as provide feedback back to the team and so thankful to be an MVP because I get to do cool stuff like this and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Twitter I also have my own blog so this will all be written up in a blog post which I will provide the link to in my YouTube description uh, make sure you stay tuned because I have another vlog coming up and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!